YouTube boxing season is back, so you're going to want to subscribe to Gloved Up, the number one YouTube boxing exclusive show, so subscribe below, because you know you want to. It's the best YouTube boxing show on the planet, on the platform, and on your screen. So let's get into the next episode of Gloved Up. Alright people, so we're on the PC, we're going to do a little bit of a reaction to this press conference, we're going to see what's going on. I saw a few clips yesterday, so I know there were a few fights, it even says fight breaks out. Honestly, the only thing I'm really expecting from this press conference is I really want Adam Sala to do a backflip. If Adam Sala does a backflip, I think that this is going to be a successful press conference. So now everyone's going to be able to go and see it. I'm going to leave a link for Adam's video in the description. I'm only going to go over a couple of things. I'm not going to have a whole reaction in here. I just want to get the general parts. This is Tyson. He is on the undercard fight. It looks like a beefy motherfucker. It looks like he could take your head off. He is stuttering a little bit. He might be a little bit nervous. However, I really think when he gets in there, he might be able to show us some stuff. But if Darman has taught me anything, it's to not judge a book by its cover. And to be honest with you, this guy could be more of a fruitcake than NNA. But he doesn't look like a fruitcake. So we're going to go off what I see right now. He was just like, dude, let me fucking speak. He's already nervous. I'm not respecting him. I respect him. Look, look at everyone around here. Here's the scariest looking motherfucker at this place. Okay. No, no swearing, please. Let's around. <laughs> <laughs> Real talk boxing. Shout out to you. No swearing. No swearing. Stop fucking swearing. But it really seems like uh, this guy really wants to fight. It really seems like he chose the toughest guy. I could agree. Tyson is the toughest guy here. He looks like he's the toughest guy. He might be a little nervous. Like the other guy is saying, I agree with him. However... He still is probably pretty fucking tough. Why is this guy talking like this? You, you know what I mean? No, like, how, how am I doing? Like, I can't even know what I'm doing. Like, like, train, like, talk normally. These guys can't talk to each other like men. Abidan! Yo, this Abidan guy has got some nice fucking hair. He's got the hair drip. Well, I got a question for all you guys in the comments. Is Slim one of the most popular YouTube boxers? He is getting more fights than a lot of these other YouTube guys. So should we give him more credit? I think we should give him more credit. I don't know about Adam, but I think that we should give a little bit more credit to Slim. But it really, like I said, it really seems like Abidon and Slim are not really going to have any beef. And that could change momentarily if Slim brings out that fake tough guy persona. I'm actually, I'm actually really digging that Adam and Slim are not going into deep beef with beefs with their opponent. I don't really think that uh, that Slim really needed to beef NNA. It's obvious that Slim was better than NNA, so um, show him with class. Don't be an asshole. Go in there, whoop his fucking ass. You know, let him talk shit. Just say, hey man, you're going fucking down. I think that Slim has a better chance of losing this fight than the last fight. I think it's a split. 50-50. However, I think that Slim will still win. So Slim fights two fruitcakes and he said he's labeled as undefeated. Um, first things first, um, I want to say I respect Abidan as well, man. Our last fight, you know, he's a good friend of mine. And uh, he's a good fighter, man. Like, you know, he has some good footwork. Me and him are the only guys in the last event to get knocked out, so this is going to be a hell of a show. I think me and Abidan are going to put on the best fight of the night. So. I agree. I agree. Big ups to that Slim. Biggest fight of the night will be that fight. These two have the potential and have the skill sets to really go in there and have a really good match with each other. You know, styles make fights. And the two styles that they're going to be fighting with, it's going to be on the foot all the time, throwing punches. It's not going to be sticking moves. It's not going to be running, any running. It's going to be in-your-face action with Slim and Abidon. I'm really excited for that. I'm really excited for this match. Fusi, Big ups for Fusi too! Re-up, gang. Late first round, early second round, something like that. Late first round, early second round, damn. So it is the first female influencer fight. It is the first female influencer fight. I know I said on the last card that it wasn't that. However, I still think that Fame MMA did it first with Ashley Marie and that other MMA girl. So we're going to have to see about that. 
Um, but it is the first female boxing match. They should be able to say that. It's not the first female influencer fight. It's the first female influencer boxing match. Of this, and I really like this girl. So she has a queen to fight me. Okay? You will see what are the women they want. Okay, I'm very confused here. Please forgive me. I cannot tell if she's trying to give respect or talking trash. I genuinely just do not know. I will knock you out easy. Okay, that answers my question. This girl's got swagger. I like this girl. I like this girl. I like the short girl. I do. From the promotion, it really made out that, like, the girl on the left here was the shorter girl because she was actually shorter in some of the promotion on the poster, and the other girl was way taller, but it's way different. So there's going to be a giant height advantage from this girl over here. This girl over here looks like she's bringing a fight, so I'm really excited to see. First of all, I love the hat. The hat is really trendy. It's nice. Slim screaming. Listen, that girl came in here, she wasn't really talking shit over and over again. She said, listen, I'm not here to talk trash. I'm gonna knock this short ass fucking girl out. I like that. I like that. Short, simple, and sweet. Speak the truth, girl. And I love the hat. And I love the necklace, too. Kalal bro, bro Kalal girl bros. Kind of might be a lot of people were, you know, not, a lot of people were not accepting the offer. A lot of people were asking for more money. I know he's gonna talk about KSI. Just like, you know, famous for being someone sibling, you know what I'm saying? So I'm, uh, and as, and as a shine, he's the only one that accepted, and I'm not gonna, you know, I'm not gonna say no and not be on this event. Plus, the event is gonna be longer with more fights, so it's gonna be more interesting. I feel. This is why I feel as you watch this event, it's gonna be interesting. You got Adam Sal at Slim, a first influencer fight, you got NNA Productions. Uh, I'll probably have to roll the clip with NNA Productions. I'm not really seeing anything right here. We're going to wrap this up real quick because I don't really want to react to the whole thing. I want you guys to go watch it yourself, formulate your own opinions. But to be honest with you, this is a decent press conference. Adam Salah seems to be having good respects to his opponent. Slim having good respects to his opponent. Slim predicting a round one or round one or early round two knockout. You know, Adam, of course, saying that he had the take on us on short notice because if he didn't, he wouldn't be able to fight on social knockout. He's not really talking about Waleed Sharks. I don't know if I missed it. I'm going to watch the press conference and I'm going to talk about it in another gloved up video, a follow up. But this is more of just a reaction today.